Hi, right, okay, so I'm back with another video after I said I'd do a couple more. Um, this one's a bit earlier than I thought it'd be, and this is one that I'm quite excited about actually. Um, now I have, let me just switch this camera around. I've got a Parkside pressure washer, and it's a PHD 170A1. I don't know if all Parkside pressure washers are the same, but mine has this fitment on the end. Just get that to focus. Um, which is different to every other pressure washer, you, 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 your usual pressure washers, your Karchers, your nest, nest flisks, and all that. So let me just show you on my iPad. Um, where are we? Wrong way. So this video is going to be done all in one take because that's the way I do things. Just turn this flash off. Right, so the issue we have obviously this is the dimensions here of the parkside pressure washer so you've got 14 mil width here let's get something to point this out with we use this drill bit you've got 14 mil across here 20 mil this way um 14 mil between there and there this is a nil flisk or bosch or other pressure washers so you've got 12, which obviously up here, you've got 14. You've only got one O-ring. This has got two. Uh, between this lip and the end, on here is 20 millimeters. On here, it is, where's the numbers for that one? Can't find the numbers for, oh no, you've got 14. So there's a lot of differences between the two. If you come across here to, this is the Karcher one. And the biggest difference, obviously you've got your 12 mil here and we're 14, but this has got flat sides. So this connection won't work. Oh, that's zoomed in. Um, where's my, ignore that bit. So that won't work. With the nil flisk ones, they're exactly the same as this, except this here is a circle that's 10 mil. It's 10 mil to fit, no, 12 mil, sorry, to fit this section in here. So, I've been, I've been on forums. I've had this pressure washer for two years. Fantastic pressure washer, no problems with it. The only problem I have with it is I want a stubby gun. And People have said, oh, it's not possible, it's not possible. The only way you can do it is to change the whole hose. Change the whole hose on the back of the pressure washer. Now, a lot of pressure washers, you can do that. You just unscrew it, put a new hose on. But if we go back to these pictures, the back of this pressure washer has got this banjo fit in and it slides in and then it's circlipped in place so it doesn't work. Right, I'm waffling a bit here. Obviously, that's... That's the lance. With that on it, it's over a metre long. I want this. It's only small, it's easy. So, what we gotta do? Well, I have done a prototype already, and I know that it works. This was a nil flisk adapter. I ordered another one. This one. And they sent me, look, it's got square, straight edges. They sent me a um, Karcher one. Never mind, we can work around it. Now, the two issues we've got are, let's pull this round here. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to show this one-handed. So, this isn't gonna fit in here because the dimensions, obviously, it's square, not a circle. Then you've got this section in here. I'm just gonna pause this mount, I need to pull this out. Right, so I've just I've just taken the inside out of this. It just pop, it just literally pops out, and as you see, it doesn't fit properly on here, so it doesn't meet the O-rings. So, what we need to do 
is we've got the nail nail plus one here what i've worked out you need to do is you need to drill this center out obviously it'd be a lot easier if they'd have sent me the right one that was already round this one's square sided so what we need to do we need to drill this out so that it will fit past this which isn't focusing which is 14 mil so it is possible to do it so you've got the metal clips in let's just turn the flash on you've got those metal clips inside there and you can see i've already started to have a look at this to see if it will actually work so if you push that down it clears the clips but that hole inside all the way down is 10 mil so what i am going to do is bring out the big boy now this is a 12 mil drill bit that i've got in here and i am going to drill down inside here obviously when i'm drilling I'm going to need to push that down out the way so which i'm going to need two hands for um so i'm just going to drill this out and then we'll move on to the next stage back with you in just a moment right i've just drilled that and to drill it out i literally push that down and drilled straight into it and you can see it's no longer circle so let's get our pipe push it in clicks that is now solid on there and to release you just push that down pop it out so that now fits onto here so that's one problem out of the way the next problem we've got is this tube now it doesn't need much to get it over this lip. So I think what we can actually do, it depends on how tight you want it, but so I'm having to put quite a lot of force on that to get it to slide in. So what I'm gonna do with this is I've got a, I don't know what size it is, nine mil masonry drill bit which is just sits snugly in there. So I'm just gonna drill this. Obviously you've got quite a large thick bit of plastic around here. So I'm gonna drill that out just enough to make this pipe fit. So it's still snug on the uh, O-rings. And uh, so I'll just set up my drill and we'll do that bit. Right, I've not actually drilled this bit out yet. What I've found is though, if you've got one of those stood up like that and you've got to try and drill it obviously you've got your fingers in the way It'd be if i had a vice it might be a bit easier but i don't have a vice but um so what i've done is i've put it back inside it, like i say it just literally just pushes in push pulls out with a pair of pliers so i'm going to put that in there and then i've got a bit more holding room to hold this all in place and then just go in with the uh nine mil masonry bit just to open that up a little bit so that it will fit. I'll try and do this. I don't know. I'm not going to be able to do this one-handed. What am I trying to do? All right, let me just see if I can stand my camera up. No, that's not going to work. Right, I'll have to come back to you in just one moment when uh, I've got this drilled out. Right, I've got that drilled out. Obviously, you want it snug. Let's get a bit closer. You want this snug, so put that in there give it a little push again can't do this one-handed let's put it back in here the slots in there push it down turn this over i wish i had more camera equipment right hang on just pop you down one moment Just take it back out again and then you can see and push it on manually right so that now sits snugly over the two o-rings so that's going to be nicely sealed 
So we'll put it back in here, as I've shown you, and then we will uh, plug in the pressure washer, put on the stubby gun, and make sure that it doesn't leak. Now I know with this one that I've already done, it doesn't leak, but I'm a bit cautious with this Nilflisk one because it was already squared edged. But uh, we'll get it all back together, get the pressure washer plugged in, and uh, see what happens. Right, so we've got the pressure washer plugged in around here. Just turn it on. Right, we've got no leaks from here. We've also got no power to my pressure washer. Oh, plug it in. You heard it come on then. So that's now under pressure. We've got no leaks from this connection. Plenty of pressure. So there we go. So if uh, just dry my feet, I made a right mess in here. Water all over the floor. So if you have a Parkside PH PhD. 170 pressure washer number one you can have a stubby gun that fits it just takes a bit of working with and a bit of thinking and like I said, it's been six months i've been contemplating how to get a stubby gun on there now i am getting waiting on an attachment for to change the fitting on my snow foam See, this snow foam cannon came from Detailed Online, I think. And the fitting they gave me to fit into this is called a laver fitting. Now, the problem I've got with this, to get that tight so that it didn't leak, if I put my gun straight, it's on an angle. So, um, you can get snow foam bottles that fit onto this gun. But it's just, it's heavy and it's long. So, which was why, which was why I wanted to try and get a stubby gun. And forums, detailing companies that sell parts all said, no, can't be done. You need to change the hose on your, uh, on your pressure washer. So to change the hose would have cost me, I don't know, 40, 50 quid to get the right attachments on the ends. Plus then you've got to buy the stubby gun and the quick release. So you're looking at another, anywhere between on a, another 25 quid. So let's say 75, 80 quid. That's nearly the cost of the pressure washer. So it can be done with a 12 mil drill bit, a nine mil drill bit, easy. And, uh, I'm quite happy with uh, what I've managed to achieve. Like I say, I've now got that attachment there and the one that we've just adapted out there. That's the pressure washer still on, it's not leaking. If it was leaking, you'd hear the pressure washer going. So that works. So uh, like I say, any of you out there that are looking for a stubby gun solution for a PhD 170, it's easy. Just need a big drill bit. I hope that people have found this video interesting. My videos are very difficult to put together. All I've got is my camera on my phone. I try my best to cover what needs covered. So um, I'd appreciate feedback. And uh, like I say, I hope it helps because I'm not the only one that's got a little pressure washer and it's coming into summertime. So little will have them back in stock. And uh, why pay three times more for a karcher just so that you can have a stubby gun on the end. You don't need to do it. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. If you've liked, if you've enjoyed it, hit subscribe, like it, and share it with people that have got a, a, a Parkside uh, pressure washer, especially a PHD 170. Thank you very much.